Hey, welcome back to another episode of Hack and Slash. Let's go ahead and jump back to where we were before. It's dangerous to hack and slash. Be careful. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like that we're beginning back where we left off at. Um, the only thing is, is that I hope it doesn't want me to do... Alright, yeah, the, this part's annoying. Um... What item was that? It was this one. Ah, no, 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 no. You're gonna be that. And... You'll be this one for right now. I don't want it too much. That looks good enough. Alright. So now, we should be able to go right through here. Because that goes back to the whole scripting thing and talking and... Well, we already did that last time, so... There we go. <clears throat> Trapped again? I thought this cave looked familiar. You didn't see this coming? Nope. Hank, we've been trapped in this same type of cave several times now. I was kidding. Let's figure out some algorithm stuff. Alright, so now, this is where this guy comes in. No, 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 no. I want my sword to be that. Oop, here we go. I am um, going to do it again. Yeah, I don't know that, but... Compute door key. I guess that's the name of the algorithm. Does all that stuff describe the algorithm? It's a little impenetrable. Well, we're not algorithmicists. We don't do a lot of math stuff in our heads. Are you getting anything from it? Hmm. Add is probably addition, right? Port is listed in arguments. That's probably that port outside the cell. Ha! Ah, figures we wouldn't be able to get to it from in here. Well, I'm guessing we need to change the algorithm to output the key to the door. We gotta use that loop. That's a fun word to say. Loop. Alright, well, let's listen to Hank. Woo! We jumping right in. No, 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 no! Okay, let's do this again. Alright, so... I can't remember which one we did. I want to say it was this one. No. Ooh, this one has a port. Yes, hack it. No, wait. Why? Put the hat on first and tell me what it says. It says value. Based on the color, it looks like this thing is hooked up to the machines. I bet we can change that value and change how the machines work. Hmm. Do I have permission to hack it yet? Sure, go ahead. All right, let's take a look here. Port dot value. You know, I'm just gonna try something. Let's change this to key. Maybe. Let's return. Maybe that works. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> These were its last words. Blah 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 content slash game slash cracker cavern slash room slash code puzzle one. 
dot lua colon 18 colon attempt to perform arithmetic on field key a nil value hmm looks like uh, I crashed the game woo crashed the game <laughs> let's go back one <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. I have froze up. Let's just give it a second. Maybe it might be doing something. And apparently not. So, I'll come back to you when this gets, um, whenever I get back out. Be with you in a All second. Right. Well... I had to I had to go ahead and just outright crash the game so that way I could get back in. But if you remember I set my opacity to the to this and I look down and I find a port that I didn't recall seeing. Value two. I wanna put it to four because if you look up at the top there's something that says four up there. So I'm just going to keep that at four and see what happens. Yeah, we're not going to read this again. All right. A O. I think that was probably A O over there. If you don't key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Output the key to the door. Hmm. Oh. This is new. Okay. Nope. Wait. Do you think AG could stand for algorithm destruction device? Maybe we shouldn't touch it. I think you're thinking about it too hard. Well, then you can be the one to touch it. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so let's go back in. Yeah, we know this one. Says value. All right, so let's put our opacity back on. Oop, there we go. That way I don't have to look at it all the time. For at least a time being. Oh, there you are. Hmm. Got any ideas what this machine is? Maybe. What do you see with your third eye? It says port dot value and all that other jazz with a green thing at the end and a period. Cryptic. Maybe it's pulling value out of port. And stuffing the result into that crystal? It looks like that crystal gets used by other machines. I think we're getting a tutorial here. What do you think this is? It's a data crystal. Did you just make that term up? Yeah, it's a good name though, don't you think? Let me take a closer look. It looks like it's an ARG, whatever that is. I think it's named Port. Maybe ARG is short for argument. That name was under arguments on the signpost. I wonder what an argument is. Judging by the crystal colors, it's probably an input of some kind to the machine. And it doesn't have a port to be hacked, so it must come from outside the algorithm. So yeah, data crystal's a good name for it. Why is that? It sounds cool. That's critical in a name. And that's why you're named Hank. Well, you're over here now. It looks like this is the end of the algorithm. This machine looks special. Mm. 
What do you think it does? Return. I'm guessing it returns the result of the algorithm. We can't mess with this machine, but we can mess with the stuff that feeds into it. Now we just have to figure out what we want it to return. More tutorials? Right. I got this one. It takes those two crystals and adds them together. Do you want me to check with my hat? Xavier Petty. I'm pretty sure I know what an adding machine for a magical algorithm room that secretly underpins our reality looks like. I'm sure you do. Alright, so this... That's one. Hmm. I can't yeah. have that one. Yeah. You know, I think this has to have a number. I'm going to go ahead and just put... See, the thing outside said four. I'm going to put three. So blank plus that one equals that. So let's go back in. And I crashed again. You know what? I'm just gonna go right to code puzzle. And I crashed again. All right, I'll be right back again. This must be the, the day of crashes, I swear. All right, well, I'm back. And I think I finally figured it out. I had to guess, unfortunately, go look for some help. I'll see what I can do about linking that in the, in the description. But it looks like here, let me put my uh, opacity back on. Turn it up a little bit higher. We actually had to change the load, because I figured we had to change that to whatever. But that port that you see on the upper uh, window on the left-hand side, you see that little USB port? I'll try to make notice of it. Well, apparently that number needs to equal what was at the door up there at the very top. Again, I'll try to make a notice of that. So I need to change yeah. this. So now I can go out. Shabama Lama. I like them apples. Them apples are good. No, no, I want this to be four. Oh, no. Okay, fine. Put that on, take it off, and it goes away. So now let's get out of here. What? What? Or is there anything else? Alright, so there's nothing. Alright. Dang it! Alright, let's take a look here. C0 ran... C1 dumb. Ran dumb. Okay. Hmm. Compute door key. Did we wind up in the same room again? No, it's different. I think we're dealing with words now. Ah, let's warp in. Hmm. Alright, I was just double checking something. Alright. Let's jump right in. Alright, so let's turn this on random. Oh, I know what, because that door up there said freedom. That's what we're going to put in here. Uh, let's, um, thing. let's change this to free. And that should already be dumb, yep. Yes, figured that one out all on my own. That's right. Let's go, Hank. Oh my good word.
All right, so that's a quadruple nine. That's going to be a port. Just how many identical caves are there in this place? I agree, man. All right, so looks like it we're, we're combining both of those previous ones. So let's see. LT? MUL? I've got nothing. I bet we can figure out how it works, though. And you know what? We are. Alright, so let's put on the hat. I don't change that and that. That load is impossible. So load zero times zero. So it's whatever port plus value equals green. Oop, there's more. Dang it. I thought I was going to be able to figure this one out on my own. If zero is less than blank, then left end. Which is probably this one right here is impossible. Hmm. You know what? I want to do something real quick. So, triple nine. Let's see zero. Impossible. So C must mean crystal, I'm thinking. Alright. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, support. And value equals the green. You know what? I'm just going to try something. Get rid of my hat. Go here. I'm going to change this. I can't change it. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh. Let's change it to 9999 Let's see what happens. Whoa. Little too much. Little too much. Come on. Alright. Dang it. Eat the no worky. Alright, well, let's bring that back down to zero then. Seems like I always go too far. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. So let's see what Hank has to say. Come here, Hank. Ooh, this one has a port. Yes, hack it. No wait. Why? Put the hat on first and tell me what it says. Alright, so we did this. Let's see if there's anything different. <laughs> yeah, we already know this part. down here. Ooh. Okay. 
this one's easy. Multiplies the crystals. You seem pretty confident. I'm gifted with machines. They speak to me. Since when? What's that machine? Yeah, you're right. You wouldn't understand, Xavier P. It's a machine thing. Alright. More stuff to say. It looks like this is the end of the algorithm. This machine looks special. What do you think it does? Return. I'm guessing it returns the result of the algorithm? We can't mess with this machine, but we can mess with the stuff that feeds into it. Now we just have to figure out what we want it to return. Nope, you didn't follow me. Check it out. This one splits into two paths. How do you think it chooses a path? Well, it reads from those two crystals. Maybe it compares them to figure out which way to direct the flow. Sure, that sounds good. Alright, so you didn't change. Alright, let's get this. Alright, let's take a look at all of it. We know that the port over there is all nines. So port, I can't change that. If I do, it's just going to mess it up. Green crystal is how and that zero. Oh, let's change this to one and now let's change it to nine thousand nine ninety nine because that should then equal the port. It's on the far left side. And if it does, then I should be able to go right back into that portal and escape. Let's see if my theory works. There we go. Because that would be one times 9,999 <sighs> um. no it's not going to dang it it was a good idea hmm All right. You know what? Yeah, and I'm gonna bring this down to one. Went over again. Dang it. Come on, developers, make this a little bit easier just to type in a number. There. So if one is less than what this is, then left end, and that'd be impossible, but since it's greater than, we should be able to go right back in that door and the door opens. There we go. I knew it had to do something like that. Whew. Holy cow, we're out. Alright, let's just go. Let's put on our hats. Our tin foil hats here. Bring out a little bit of something, something. Oh, I fall. 
let's just take this path and see what's over here. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Let's... Oh, there's a password. Port is password. Content seek knowledge. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, an inner and an outer password. Seek knowledge and change the rules. Should be this one. Right? Did I read that right? Seek knowledge, change the rules. Yeah. Seek knowledge. That's the outer and that's the inner. Oh, I... Alright, something ain't right here. Alright, so. Uh, seek knowledge, then. Else right end. So out of password, seek equals seek knowledge. Then left. Alright, so it does. If inner password equals change to rules, Then left, which is here, else right end, load false, load return. Load, load, right. Let's get a little bit better look. All right, so. Right here we got outer password, which is that door down there, equals seek knowledge, and it does. Then left, which is the left port right here. And then we just go to false and return. Else right. We go right. <gasps> oh. Hmm. We might need to change something. I want to see what this says. You know what? We're gonna change. Oh, dang it! Did it again. We're gonna change this password to password. And if we go here, we should be able to change it to password. And now we can get in. Woohoo! Take that, suckers. Take that, yes. Alright, so we can hack that. Ooh, there's something over there. Let's go and see what's over there, and hopefully, this should, um, after we get past this, this might be the end of an episode, but we will soon find out. Hey! There's all kinds of stuff over here. So many things to hack. I think we actually need to come in here and edit something.
Put the head on. Alright, so set I to one. Tile creator cube bridge for so I equals one. Okay, so if I equals I plus one, if I is less than four, then loop. And that thing did put in about four tiles, and I'm thinking we need to change you. Let's just change you to a, a higher number. Let's just do 12, just to be on the safe side. Just so we can get across. Oh yeah. And that goes both ways, sweet. What? What? Alright, let's jump in. Let's put our tinfoil hats on. Wow, there's a lot here. Hmm, let's see. So set I to equal one. I, so one modulus two is the orange. So if orange is equal to zero, then left. So go left, bam. If not, then it comes around here directly to, if it's less than 10, loop. Well, let's see what Hank says. There are paths coming in and out of this one. And it has an output crystal. It looks like it's just copies of the value... There, let's try that again. It looks like it just copies the value of its input crystal. What's with the wire that loops back, though? I'm not sure. It looks like the arrows just get passed through. I bet it doesn't even copy the input crystal again. Oh, this is a loop. Oh. What do you think mod is short for? Modulus? Do you know what that means? Oh, modulus. It's a mathematical concept and analogous, analogous to division. But instead of producing the quotient, it produces the remainder. How do you know so much math? Sprats are way into math. Here's a fun fact about the modulo operator. You can easily test whether a number is even or odd by computing the number modulo 2. Ah, because an even number would be divisible by two and have a remainder of zero, but an odd number would have a remainder of one. Hmm. Yep, if something modulo a certain number is zero, then it's evenly divisible by that number. This seems like a complicated machine. Yeah. This looks like one of those machines that interacts with th things outside this algorithm. Hmm, it looks like it's fed the name of something and passes some data crystals to it. Oh, oh, I bet it's calling another algorithm. The crystals it's sending must be that algorithm's arguments. That sounds totally reasonable, Hank. I think you might be right. Oh programming the programming let's see do, 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 do. let's put on this 
turn it all the way up that way I can see it. So I have one. Let's change that to an even number. Let's just change it to four. So four divided by two would be two, and if two is zero, then end. So we're gonna end. It's gonna come by here. So, what is that? That would be that number, so that would be 2 at this point. 2 equals 2 plus 1, and if i is less than 10, then loop. That might do it. Uh, well, it looks like we're getting somewhere. We got a little bit more going on. Eh, dang it. Let's change this to 20. Oh, because it then just ends. Because it's now greater. Right? 20 plus 1. So let's make it 18. And then it'll be 19. Now we'll have to do... I have a feeling it has something to do with this one right here. If we do 17, yeah, 17 plus 1. So if we do 19 plus 1 is 20 divided by 2. No. Nope. I think this has to be an odd number to be added to 1. So let's just leave it at 11. It worked with 10. Let's do 9. That means there's even less. Set it to three. Hmm. <laughs> trying some things here. Now we're missing a little bit. Ah, no, no, no! You booger. If we put this back to one... Let's do negative numbers. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go negative nine. Let's just see if we can try to make sense of this. If it's negative 9, negative 9 divided by 2. Alright, so let's set this to 8. So if negative 8 divided by 2, that would be 16, if I'm not mistaken. I think. 
It's been a while since I've done this kind of thing, so let's do negative nine. Oh, no, 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 no. So, so negative nine divided by... Snarr. Dang it. So, negative eight divided by, because that's what we were on. Negative eight divided by two. Oh yeah, dur, ha ha ha, would be negative four. So negative four equals zero, then left, otherwise end, which would come through here. And since I is negative eight, if negative eight equals negative eight plus one, which that would be negative seven, So be, if it's less than 10, then loop. And so it does loop. You know what? Mm. Let's just set this to 1, like it was before. And let's go back in. That's like actual code. Oh my goodness, this is getting hard. I am going to get this, though. See, that has no number needed because it's not in this particular thing. Now the green zero, we left that as one. Close, now it's missing all those other pieces. All right, good. Why do I have 10? Where does 10 come into play? You know what? Let's just make you one as well. Why not? Eh. Alright. Eh, dang it. So apparently that's not the case to do on this one. Well, that's to that one. This one here. No. Because that goes to that one. And this one. Let's just bring it up to 20. on my own. So that's one. Ah, what does this one go to? That one goes to that one. So set I as one. This blue one goes to that one. Wrong one, penguin. Yes. Wrong one again. Yes. 
No, what? So apparently that's not the case. Alright, one more time, and we will put it back to the way it was, and I am going to go take a look and figure out how to fix this, because for some reason I am just not getting it. I'm good with computers and stuff, but whenever it comes to programming, it's like, my mind, it just ain't right. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and cut it off here, and I will look for a solution for it, and then we'll try it all again. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Xavier Penguin, and I will catch you on the flip side. Woo!